Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about using utility deceptively in order to get an advantage on your enemy. When you see a smoke grenade that has a little bit of a gap, you instinctively try to utilize that gap, thinking you can get a free kill on your opponent. Knowing that your enemy will have the same thought go through their head, you can give your enemy a false sense of security by missing a smoke on purpose so you know where they will try to peek you from. This type of play can come in many forms, so I'll highlight just a few different ways in this video, but you need to let the creative juices flow because there are so many different applications for this gimmick. A very basic and easy version of this can be found on Mirage. If you want to get an easy pick on the CT middle opper, you can have your op go into palace early and quietly make their way to the end, scoped in, and post to the jungle angle. At the start of the round, you will want to throw a smoke that goes from T-spawn into window. But here's the catch. If you miss the smoke and it bounces off the wall and window is not smoked, the CT opera will think you are trying to come middle and that you missed a smoke. So they'll try to hang around for a few moments, waiting for a peek. Once the T opera is about to be set up in palace, smoke mid window, properly this time, and because the CT will have no vision of middle, he'll be forced to switch positions. If you get lucky, the CT might choose to rotate to jungle instead of spawn to A ticket booth or B market. Do you ever play as a terrorist on DE cache and try to cross A main when the CT smoke is up? It's quite a common play so that you can get more info on areas such as forklift from the dead end side of A main or you can play from the lockers area to peek from a different angle when the smoke clears. By missing a smoke on purpose at A main but leaving a tiny gap, the T will feel a false sense of security and try to cross because the smoke looks like a regular smoke. By playing with an op near the site, or even a rifle, you can see the T crossing, usually walking, and get yourself a free opening pick. When I feel like taking a risk, I drop out of heaven as a CT on cash and smoke towards B main. It helps if the T sees a bit of a smoke and thinks that you've defensively smoked the area. Once I drop down, I sneak over to my right as far as I can and I can usually catch an unsuspecting enemy off guard who is trying to do with default grenades. It is also common to find that an enemy might be more passive holding an off angle with a rifle. This type of angle is no match for crouch sliding opera and as we've learned in the video about fundamentals, playing with an op and doing pick fall plays is incredibly strong. Oping as a CT outside on nuke is very common. Creating a wall of smokes from the T red container to the secret steps is a common strategy that T's use in order to get down to lower quickly and without taking damage. If a CT sees a gap in the smoke, they might get overzealous and think that you missed a smoke by accident and they might hold the gap of the smokes waiting for the cross. If you peek from a different angle than what the CT is holding, you can get a cheeky little kill on the unsuspecting CT. Molotovs and incendiaries are also great tools to use deceptively. If you hear a molotov or incendiary go off in a specific area, you create in your head an idea of what type of play is happening. For example, if you are a CT and hear a molotov explode at deep upper brown holes on train, you might suspect your opponent is running a default control. If you are a T and hear a molotov land at B tunnels on dust 2, you might suspect your opponent is trying to prevent a rush. So why not throw a molotov or incendiary close to the location so that the sound cue comes, but be ready to push through. You can run three people out upper in or on train early in the round with a molotov that lands out of the way so the CT is unsuspecting of a fast hit. You can incendiary the outside of B tunnels on dust 2 and early push into the tunnels and catch your opponents running towards lower B. There are so many undiscovered ways to be annoyingly deceptive with utility. Try exploring these ideas and find some gimmicks that can help you change the course of a match. Be sure to check out more training room videos just like this one for more advanced tips for advanced gamers.